Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the 10 biggest dragons in a Soyf Game of Thrones. If you're a fan of the series, you know that these creatures are one of the most iconic and fascinating elements of the story. So, get ready to meet the most powerful and impressive dragons of Westeros and Essos. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on the next videos. Valyrian, the Black Dread, this dragon is so old that he probably went to school with your great-grandfather. He was the dragon of Aegon the Conqueror and helped conquer the Seven Kingdoms. Valyrian was so big that he could swallow a whole mammoth and his flame was capable of melting stones. He was so feared that people trembled just hearing his name. Imagine if he had a profile on Tinder? Valyrian, the Black Dread, 200 years old, liked to fly, burn things, and scare little children. He would definitely be a hot match. But seriously, Valyrian was one of the most powerful and iconic dragons in the history of Westeros. He was a symbol of power and terror for everyone who saw him. And even after his death, his legacy continued to inspire other dragons and conquerors. So, if you want to be a true Game of Thrones fan, you need to know the story of this legendary dragon. Drogon, this dragon is so big that he could be mistaken for an airplane. He is the biggest and fiercest of Daenerys Targaryen's dragons and is capable of destroying entire cities with his fury. Drogon is so loyal to his mother that he would probably give his life for her. And if you think he's just a pet, you're very wrong. Drogon is a true warrior and has faced several enemies, including other dragons. But what stands out most about Drogon is his color. He is a black dragon, which means he is the type of dragon you don't want to meet in a dark alley. And if you think he's scary, imagine if he had an Instagram profile? Drogon, the destroyer, 5 meters tall, liked to fly, burn things, and take selfies with my mom. He would definitely be a successful digital influencer. Jokes aside, Drogon is one of the most beloved and iconic characters in Game of Thrones. He represents strength and loyalty, as well as being a symbol of House Targaryen. So, if you're a fan of the series, you can't miss out on learning more about this incredible dragon. Viserion, this dragon is so icy that it could be mistaken for a vanilla ice cream. Viserion was killed and resurrected by the Night King, becoming an ice dragon with blue eyes and blue flames. He was used by the Night King to destroy the wall and allow the army of the dead to cross to the south. But even after death, Viserion remained a powerful and deadly dragon. And if you think he's just an ice dragon, you're very wrong. Viserion is capable of spitting blue flames, which is even more terrifying than normal flames. And if he had a Twitter profile? Viserion, the ice dragon, likes to fly, spit blue fire, and make snowmen. He would definitely be one of the most popular dragons on social media. But jokes aside, Viserion is one of the most striking and tragic characters in Game of Thrones. He was killed and resurrected by the Night King, losing his identity and loyalty to Daenerys. And even after his final death, he continued to be a symbol of the power of the dead and the threat they represented. So, if you're a fan of the series, you need to know more about the story of this incredible dragon. Regal, this dragon is so green that he could be mistaken for an avocado. Regal is Daenerys Green Dragon, named after her brother Rhaegar Targaryen. He is smaller than Drogon, but still a powerful and deadly dragon. Regal is loyal to Daenerys and helps her in her battles against her enemies. And if you think he's just a green dragon, you're very wrong. Regal is capable of spitting fire and flying at high speeds, making him a formidable opponent. And if he had an Instagram profile? Regal, the green dragon, liked to fly, spit fire, and eat salad. He would definitely be one of the healthiest dragons on social media. But jokes aside, Regal is one of the most important and beloved characters in Game of Thrones. He represents loyalty and strength, as well as being a symbol of House Targaryen. And even after his tragic death, he continued to be remembered as one of the most powerful and impressive dragons in history. So, if you're a fan of the series, you need to know more about the story of this incredible dragon. Meraxes, this dragon is so red that she could be mistaken for a pepper. Meraxes was the dragon of Rhaenys Targaryen, sister of Aegon the Conqueror. She was smaller than Valyrian, but still a feared and respected dragon. Meraxes was killed during the conquest of Dorne when she was hit by a poisoned arrow. And if you think she's just a red dragon, you're very wrong. Meraxes was capable of spitting fire and flying at high speeds, making her a formidable opponent. And if she had a Twitter profile? Meraxes, the red dragon, liked to fly, spit fire, and watch romance movies. She would definitely be one of the most romantic dragons on social media. 
but jokes aside, Meraxus was one of the most important and respected dragons in the history of Westeros. She represented strength and courage, as well as being a symbol of House Targaryen. And even after her tragic death, she continued to be remembered as one of the most powerful and impressive dragons in history. So, if you're a fan of the series, you need to know more about the story of this incredible dragon. Vagar, this dragon is so old that it probably went to school with your great-great-grandfather. Vagar was the dragon of Viserys I Targaryen and later his grandson, Aegon II. She was one of the largest and most powerful creatures of her time, capable of spitting fire and flying at high speeds. Vagar died during the Dance of the Dragons when she was killed by another dragon. And if you think she's just an old dragon, you're very wrong. Vagar was one of the most feared and respected creatures of her time, capable of inspiring fear in her enemies. And if she had a Twitter profile? Vagar, the ancient dragon, likes to fly, spit fire, and listen to classical music. She would definitely be one of the most cultured dragons on social media. But jokes aside, Vagar was one of the most important and powerful dragons in the history of Westeros. She represented strength and wisdom, as well as being a symbol of House Targaryen. And even after her tragic death, she continued to be remembered as one of the most impressive and legendary dragons in history. So, if you're a fan of the series, you need to know more about the story of this incredible dragon. Caraxes, this dragon is so red that she could be mistaken for a spicy pepper. Caraxes was the dragon of Rhaenys Targaryen, sister of Aegon the Conqueror. He was one of the most powerful and feared dragons of his time, capable of spitting fire and flying at high speeds. Caraxes died during the Dance of the Dragons when he was killed by another dragon. And if you think he's just a red dragon, you're very wrong. Caraxes was one of the most fierce and impressive creatures of his time, capable of inspiring fear in his enemies. And if he had an Instagram profile? Caraxes, the red dragon, likes to fly, spit fire, and listen to heavy metal. He would definitely be one of the most rock and roll dragons on social media. But jokes aside, Caraxes was one of the most important and powerful dragons in the history of Westeros. He represented strength and courage, as well as being a symbol of House Targaryen. And even after his tragic death, he continued to be remembered as one of the most impressive and legendary dragons in history. So, if you're a fan of the series, you need to know more about the story of this incredible dragon. Syrax, this dragon is so white that she could be mistaken for a snowflake. Syrax was the dragon of Renera Targaryen, the princess of Westeros. She was smaller than the other dragons, but still a powerful and deadly creature. Syrax was killed during the Dance of the Dragons when she was hit by an arrow. And if you think she's just a white dragon, you're very wrong. Syrax was capable of spitting fire and flying at high speeds, making her a formidable opponent. And if she had an Instagram profile? Syrax, the white dragon, likes to fly, spit fire, and make snowmen. She would definitely be one of the cutest dragons on social media. But jokes aside, Syrax was one of the most important and loyal dragons in the history of Westeros. She represented loyalty and courage, as well as being a symbol of House Targaryen. And even after her tragic death, she continued to be remembered as one of the most powerful and impressive dragons in history. So, if you're a fan of the series, you need to know more about the story of this incredible dragon. Malaise, this dragon is so fierce that she could be mistaken for a tiger. Malaise was the dragon of Renera Targaryen during the Dance of the Dragons. She was one of the most powerful and feared creatures of her time, capable of spitting fire and flying at high speeds. Malaise died during the Battle of the Field of Fire when she was killed by another dragon. And if you think she's just a fierce dragon, you're very wrong. Malaise was one of the most impressive and legendary creatures of her time, capable of inspiring fear in her enemies. And if she had a Twitter profile? Malaise, the tiger dragon, likes to fly, spit fire, and watch action movies. She would definitely be one of the most adventurous dragons on social media. But jokes aside, Malaise was one of the most important and powerful dragons in the history of Westeros. She represented strength and courage, as well as being a symbol of House Targaryen. And even after her tragic death, she continued to be remembered as one of the most impressive and legendary dragons in history. So, if you're a fan of the series, you need to know more about the story of this incredible dragon. Vermithor, the dragon of Aegon IV, known as the Unworthy. Vermithor was a brown dragon with golden wings and an orange flame. He was one of the oldest and most powerful dragons in history, having been ridden by several knights and queens. Vermithor died of old age at 181 years old and was buried with the honors of a king. This dragon is so old that he probably went to school with your great-grandfather. 
Vermithir was the dragon of Aegon IV, known as the Unworthy. He was a brown dragon with golden wings and an orange flame. Vermithir was one of the oldest and most powerful dragons in the history of Westeros, having been ridden by several knights and queens. He was so large that he could easily swallow an entire elephant, not that he did, of course. And if you think he's just an old dragon, you're very wrong. Vermithir was one of the most impressive and legendary creatures in all of Westeros history, capable of inspiring respect and admiration in everyone who saw him. And if he had a Twitter profile? Vermithir, the wise dragon, likes to fly, spit fire, and read ancient books. He would definitely be one of the most cultured dragons on social media. But jokes aside, Vermithir was one of the most important and powerful dragons in the history of Westeros. He represented wisdom and strength, as well as being a symbol of House Targaryen. And even after his death, he continued to be remembered as one of the most impressive and legendary dragons in history. So, if you're a fan of the series, you need to know more about the story of this incredible dragon. So, what did you think of our list of the 10 greatest dragons of a soy Game of Thrones? These creatures are certainly one of the most fascinating and impressive elements of the story. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave your like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel to receive more content like this. See you next time! If you liked the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll stay here until next time.